you know, it's tough to talk about some stuff because little kids are listening. And so that's part of our job is screening things and making sure that we're a, vo a voice of peace in the world and not stirring things up and pointing people back to God. That's what we do. And we hope you appreciate that. That's, that's who we are. I don't want to be irrelevant. I don't want to ignore big stories like the thing that happened in Texas uh, yesterday. But because we have little ears listening, I'm, I'm attentive to that. I do want to encourage you and me, not just you, but, but to pray for the people who are so heartbroken after horrible stories like this. It can't just be a throwaway line like, hey, pray for these people. Like, like, because that's, that's what we say sometimes. Like, hey, I'll pray for you. I'll pray for that. And we don't necessarily do it. And I never want to do that where I just say we ought to or should or use the word pray because it seems like the thing to say. But God loves all the people that are involved in this. And his heart breaks too. And you can see that in the Bible. It, the Bible doesn't shirk away from the, the reality of evil and tragedy and loss and death. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that he knows what it's like to lose someone.